The chief executive officer of Axis Holding PLC, Herbert Wigwe, reportedly died in a fatal helicopter accident near the border of California and Nevada in the United States this weekend, according to multiple sources. Now, the sources claim that the helicopter went down on Friday night near a city that lies between the two states. It was reported that five other passengers, including his wife and son, also lost their lives in the crash. The helicopter was reportedly heading to Las Vegas. Plus TV Africa is taking a cursory look at his life and times while he was alive in this report. Herbert Onyewumbu Wigwe was a Nigerian banker and entrepreneur who passed away on February the 10th, 2024, at the age of 57. He was the CEO of Axis Holdings PLC, traded as Axis Corporation, and a former group managing director and CEO of Axis Bank PLC. He was a philanthropist and a visionary leader who transformed Axis Bank from a small commercial bank into a global financial institution. Wigwe was born on August 15, 1966, the parent of Ikwere descent from Omweke Isokbo in River State. The late Access Bank CEO attended St. Gregory's College in Lagos for his secondary education and then proceeded to the University of Nigeria in Tsuka, where he obtained a degree in accountancy in 1987. He furthered his education by obtaining a master's degree in banking and finance from the University College of North Wales, now Bangor University, in 1989, and another master's degree in financial economics from the University of London in 1990. The late prominent banker also attended the Harvard Business School Executive Management Program in 2006. He was a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, a fellow of the Institute of Credit Administration, an honorary member of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Niger, CIBN, and a commander of the Order of the Niger, CON. Herbert Wigwe started his professional career with Coopers and Librand Associates, an international firm of chartered accountants, where he worked as a management consultant and later qualified as a chartered accountant. He then joined Capital Bank as a senior manager in charge of treasury and financial services. In 1992, he moved to Guarantee Trust Bank, GT Bank, where he spent over 10 years working in various capacities such as corporate banking, institutional banking and treasury. In 2002, he left GT Bank along with his business partner and friend, Aigbo J. Aigi Mokwade, to acquire a stake in Axis Bank PLC, which was then a small commercial bank ranked 65th out of 89 banks in Nigeria. Herbert Wigwe succeeded Aigboje Aig Imokwade as a Group Managing Director, CEO of Axis Bank PLC in January 2014 and continued to steer the bank to greater heights until April 2022 when he stepped down to become the CEO of Axis Holdings PLC. A new entity that was created to oversee the non-banking businesses of Axis Bank, such as insurance, asset management, payment and digital banking. He remained a non-executive director of Axis Bank PLC until his death. He founded the Herbert Wigwe Foundation in 2018 to provide scholarships, mentorship and empowerment to young Nigerians. For everybody where they hear, eh? this now a project. We we'll go protect them with anything we wanna get. No university will go there like this. No be for Nigeria or for Africa. Jump. On my children, nothing will compare to this university. One of the most remarkable achievements of Wigwe was the creation of Wigwe University, a groundbreaking institution of higher learning in Nigeria and West Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.